and welcome to Girls Can Do Anything, the show that encourages ladies to just give it a crack. Today we're going to do a really basic tutorial on how to hang some stuff on the wall. These cool one-piece posters, we're going to throw them up along the wall here. When you're doing multiple frames all together, you want them to be nice and straight. So there's a few options you can use. If you've got a nice big level like this, uh, that's nice and easy, you can just mark out where you want it along there. If you don't have a big level, you've only got a little one, just make sure you get something that's nice and straight maybe like a curtain rod or anything that's manufactured nice and straight and you can just sit your level on top of it on the wall and just mark it out where you want it if you don't have a level at all you can just use your tape measure and you go down from the from the roof as far down as you want it so if you want it at 50 centimeters down mark it out there and move it along to your next point that'll give you the best result without a level so we've actually got eight pictures we're going to put up. We're going to put three along the top and five down the bottom. So there's a fair bit of spacing out that we're going to do here. So I'm just going to use my tape measure. I've already measured out the wall. It's four and a half meters. So we found the 2.25 meter mark, which is going to be our starting point. So we've already put a little marker there and we want the top of the, of the first front, the top frames to be uh, 30 centimeters from the top. And we've got about a five centimeter gap down until the, um, where the hook's going to go in so this is our spot here where the hook's going to go in so we'll come straight down from the ceiling okay we've got our 30 centimeter mark there this is halfway along the wall and then i'm going to go down another five centimeters so it's 35 centimeter mark is where i'm actually going to put my nail in between these between those two points is about 40 centimeters so when we do it on the wall we measure it 40 centimeters before you go putting any nails in um, measure up your other points. So we know that we've come down 35 centimetres there and we want to come across 40 for each spacing. All right, so we measure across 40, mark that out. And then come down 35. Make sure we've got it in the right spot, which is just above the first marking. All right. Now, if all has worked out, when I get my level up there, those two should be level. We should have a nice, perfect level. That's pretty spot on. All right, I'm going to go the opposite way now. Come across 40 centimetres. down 35 now we've got three marks there or three ones that we're going to put up so if I hold this up now between all three points should have a nice even straight line across there so when you're nailing these in this just get it right up on the wall get out your little where you want it in the spot and hold it in place right you want the hook to be against the wall flush and your nail to be on a bit of an angle it's a bit hard to see here but hopefully you can see that that's on an angle and we're nailing down on a 45 degree angle not straight in so you can see this is flush against the wall and the nail if you can see that is on an angle and we just tap that in lightly these actually hold a fair bit of weight so it's only a small hook but this will more than easily hang that so i'm going to start again in the middle um, so I want it to come out that 2.25, but the, the other way I can come straight down from this and then use my uh, level to make sure I've got it straight underneath it. So I'm just going to measure out 90 centimetres to start with, which is here. I'm going to grab my level, put it up against that. Get it so your dots are right in the middle there. 
And I feel that's pretty spot on actually. Just to be on the safe side, I'm going to measure over from the door frame. So a bit of helper. And we're spot on the 2.25 mark, which is exactly the same as that anyway. From there, we're going to do the same thing underneath these ones. And then we're going to go out one further to make it five along the bottom and three along the top. first hanging up this one actually looked a bit off and that's because I just realized I had two different size hooks here so I had an old hook and I put it up so this shorter one was putting the other one off so I had to pull it out and put the right one in so make sure you've got all the, the right and the same size hooks the three that are going up the top I've still got to get frames for them I'll show you the end result once I get those ones up